Good morning, today's date is Monday, May 10th. We are at 33186 Ocean Ridge Drive in Dana Point. This is the video log of the home inspection we just completed here. Home is in really good shape. Uh, very few issues to be addressed. Uh, we'll go over those in detail. We'll also have everything uh, outlined in the home inspection report along with photos to go along with those items. Uh, but as I said, everything is in great shape. We'll walk around and show you a few things uh, in the video here. And upon receipt of the report and this video, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Front of the home and the exterior is in great shape. This is all typically handled by the homeowners association. Um, hardboard siding, some wood trim, a little bit of termite and dry rot damage, I believe, is being addressed by the homeowners association garage door is in good shape as well as the driveway on the left side of the garage you'll see the electrical closet with all of the main electrical panels and meters for the building uh, including for this unit 100 amp panel pretty standard for the time if you need any additional electrical for car charger or anything like that you'll want to double check with your electrician and um, see if there needs to be any upgrades gas meters are also in a closet on the left side of the building or the garage if you ever smell gas in an emergency you'd want to shut off all of these handles because you won't be able to tell which one is leaking the gas so it's a safety precaution in that event, an unlikely event of an emergency like that, you'd want to shut them all down. We have a couple newer light fixtures that are loose and should be tightened up. So what happens is the water can get behind the connection plate there and allow water to get to the electrical connections. This is the main water shutoff. Water pressure is good. You're at about 60 pounds per square inch, which is normal. A little too much soil in the area. The handle, shutoff handle is buried in the soil, so you want to get that maintained to where you can have easy access to the shutoff handle. A little bit of termite and dry rot damage on some of the trim members. Again, that'll likely be addressed in the termite report. However, the majority of the siding and trim looks to be in good shape. We have another light fixture here, again, that's a little loose. Could stand to be tightened up so we don't get any leaks behind the electrical connections. Moving through the house, we're going to head to the garage. Door from the house to the garage is solid core, self-closing with weather stripping as required to maintain a minimum fire rating separation from the garage to the house. Garage floor has an epoxy coating, which is in good shape. Your water heater is only about two to four years old, judging by the serial number. No major corrections needed. Um, you'll see the yellow gas supply line back there. It does require what's called a sediment trap, which is a short piece of pipe that collects sediment from the natural gas supply. It is not a safety device, but it is code required to prolong the life of the water heater. So that'll be in the report. Water softener here, uh, I do not check but it does look to be an operation filled with salt. Um, you'll want to get as much warranty and service paperwork on that as possible. This is the electrical sub panel with all the individual circuit breakers here in the garage on the back wall. I did pull that cover and check all the connections behind the cover plate and everything looks to be in good shape. Correct wiring sizes um, and then the labeling. Uh, you'll see the correlating numbers up to the legend up here. Garage door and garage door opener, like I said, is in great shape. Um, head back to the house. Immediately to the left will be the laundry room. Gas supply only as far as your heating source. Uh, no electricity or 220 electricity for an electric only dryer. So only a gas dryer will work here currently. Outer bathroom, the toilet is secure, no leaks under the sink. Exhaust fan is working good as well. Uh, heading to the first floor, 
you have smoke alarms and carbon monoxide alarms throughout the home. Um, smoke alarms in all the bedrooms and hallways. The carbon monoxide alarms are just kind of sitting on shelves, so those need to be permanently affixed to a wall in order to be compliant. We're gonna head out to the balcony area or deck area in the back. All of the windows and doors are double pane vinyl, all in good shape. There's one window in the master bedroom that has some fogging issues. I'll go over that shortly. Heating and air looks to have been replaced about two years ago, both the forced air unit, which handles the furnace and blower fan that is in the attic of the master bedroom closet. Here we have the air conditioning condenser unit, which is secure and all insulated well, getting good temperature change with both heating and cooling. Vinyl fence railing is all in good shape. No major cracks in the concrete. Some of the siding has been replaced with a cement fiber board, which is a very durable product that was likely done by the association, but all of it looks good back here. Again, light fixtures all need to be resecured and sealed on top with a good quality exterior sealant to prevent water from getting down behind the connection plate. Fireplace in both the master bedroom and the living room here are in good shape. These are wood burning capable. Most have the ceramic logs in them, which is a lot cleaner. Uh, natural gas control valve on the side. Both of the fireplaces have a damper that has a clamp in it, which is required by code to keep the damper partially open to allow any stray gases to go out the chimney. Kitchen sink, you have a filtered water um, faucet. We don't check the uh, integrity of the filters or when they were last changed. So they'll want to follow up with that with the current owner or have a plumber check those out and see when the last time they were changed. You have one open shutoff valve here that needs a cap on it um, just to prevent any stray leaks under the sink. I'll have that in the report. Garbage disposal is in good shape. There's a switch over here on the wall. Checked all the appliances. Everything's in good working order. You have the oven and range, the dishwasher, exhaust fan, refrigerator, ice and water are working there, and the microwave, all in good shape, as well as the cabinets and countertops. We're gonna head upstairs. Your thermostat at the top of the first floor stairs and again like I said heating and air is in good shape stairs and railing all in good shape the railing is secure I'm getting to the top of the stairs here we're gonna head down to the left first carbon monoxide alarm needs to be secured to the wall front bedroom windows are in good shape Closet doors are in good shape, no cracks in the mirrors. Again, you have smoke alarms on all of the bedroom ceilings. Hallway bathroom is in good shape. Exhaust fan is good. Toilet secure, no leaks under the sink. Shower is in good shape as well. No drainage issues. And we'll head to the middle bedroom. Smoke alarm in the corner of the ceiling. All the outlets and windows are good. Double doors are in good shape. You have the return air filter just above the master bedroom door. Those need to be checked every six months or so to uh, eliminate any dust that may collect on those and keep your heating and air running at optimal condition. Fireplace here in the master bedroom, uh, again in good shape. Wood burning capable, although they have just the glass and rock in there now. Uh, would recommend the glass doors be replaced. Um, they were there originally. Not required. Many people like to leave them off. It's safer to have the doors on there. And also because the damper, which seals off the chimney, is pinned to be partially open for code requirements, you might hear some wind whistling through there on windy days and the, the glass can prevent that, but it is purely optional. 
The upper window up here, which is a fixed window, does not open uh, ha in the master bedroom here, has some fogging between the double panes of glass. Occasionally on these double windows, the seals between the double panes of glass will deteriorate and you'll get some fogging and uh, opaque kind of obscure looking glass. It does not invite moisture into the building, but it just causes um, a visual issue with the windows where you can't see out of them. Um, only way to fix that, unfortunately, is to replace the glass, but it is not hurting anything other than being a visual issue. Attic access here in the master bedroom. The attic is clean. The forced air unit or furnace is up in the attic. Um, that's in good shape. No signs of rodent activity, any traps or droppings in the attic. Uh, shower is in good shape, master bathroom shower. Windows, the tub is in good shape, no drainage issues, no water pressure issues. Sinks are also in good shape, um, no leaks there. And the bathroom here is in good shape, toilet secure, ventilation fan, no issues there at all. And really about concludes it. Um, again, I'll have this video sent over along with the report. You can refer to both for any questions. If you have any concerns, please. Uh, again, uh, very clean shape. Very Just a couple of minor issues to be addressed. Very simple. Um, if you have any questions, Jerry Stonger, Preferred Inspection Services. Thank you.